Last in our little series here of working on some frontal plane pelvis control is we're gonna take these two actions of one leg doing one thing, another leg doing the other thing, and doing it at the same time and really highlighting the stability that we need in our lower abs to keep our pelvis where it is. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna lay down on your left side here in this 90-90 position. So feet, knees in line, and then you're gonna push your bottom hip into the ground to lift those bottom side abs, ribs in, pelvis tucked just a smidge. You're gonna have your right knee shift a little bit in front of your left knee so you feel that pelvis get up and over that left side. Then you're gonna go ahead and put a yoga block between your knees. As you're here, you're gonna inhale, exhale abs. Then your bottom knee is gonna push into the yoga block to push your top knee up and then you're gonna come back down. So it's gonna look like this. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> keeping that right knee in front of the left, left knee pushing up, keeping my pelvis nice and steady. So it's just my leg bones moving in the socket. So if I had something vertically behind me, I wouldn't be rolling into it or bumping into it. I wouldn't be flaring my ribs or dumping that pelvis. I'm not gonna lose this side here. So as I go to lift up and down, this little silhouette here on the left side isn't changing at all. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna really make you feel those lower abs across the front of your hip bones here. It's gonna make you feel your bottom side abs here as you work on maintaining that little mini side plank and lifting those knees up. And you might feel that bottom leg adductor. If you're feeling your top glute working, really try to think about pushing that bottom knee up, keeping yourself kind of shifted up and over, and watching when you go to initiate the movement that you don't initiate it by bearing down or pushing down onto those lower abs, but feel that scoop and hollow lifting up and then coming back down with it. Making sure that you address each of the hip components beforehand of finding that glute max, that left leg inner thigh and adductor, opening up the backside of that left hip will then allow you to be able to move from the places that we wanna move and not just from your pelvis to work it so that you can actually maintain the stability where we want to and create a good foundation to move from. You might find one side is easier and one side is harder you might find you can jump right into that final move and the other side you might have to do a little bit more of the breakdown and prep moves. But the idea is addressing each component at a time and breaking it down helps you identify what could be the limiting factor to, to that's limiting your pelvis from being able to do that reciprocal pattern that we're wanting to have happen in walking and gait where one glute is working to push you forward and the other leg is gonna then use your adductor and hamstring to kind of pull you over to that side. So we get this nice back and forth and balance action there and that good stability of those lower TAs versus any kind of hiking up and down or basically just trying to traverse across instead of that uh, relative pelvis movement there. So hopefully that's a fun new way of exploring your hips and abs and I hope you enjoy it.